Hi, I'm Daniel Dix from freeaccountingschool.com and today we're going to answer two really important questions. Number one, what is the basic accounting equation? And number two, where does owner's equity come from? Now if you can't remember what owner's equity is, we're going to review that in this lesson. And um, also we're going to go over some examples of how the basic accounting equation works when you're working with journal entries. Okay, so let's get started. What is the basic accounting equation? Well, the basic accounting equation is a rule that says that in your accounting system, the dollar value of your asset accounts must equal the combined dollar value of your liability and owner's equity accounts. Um, now, we're going to look at this in, uh, in the equation form in just a, a second, but one thing before we do that, I want you to realize this rule is really important and it's the basis for how double entry accounting really works. Okay, so let me show you written out as an equation. The dollar value of the assets needs to equal the combined dollar values of the liabilities accounts and the owner's equity accounts. Okay, so that's really important. Now, first off, let's review what all these words mean. Okay, well, assets, you'll remember, are all, the, it's the dollar value of all the stuff that the business owns, right? Liabilities is the dollar value of all the debts that the business has, all the debts that, that the business owes other people. And owner's equity, well, let's review what that definition is again real quick because it's a little bit more tricky, but it's really important for you to learn. And once you get it, you'll really understand it. Okay, so what is owner's equity? Owner's equity is the dollar value of the part of the business that belongs to the owner if you shut the business down. Or in other words, it is the dollar value of the assets of a company that the owners really has, have rights to. And if you remember, in uh, the lesson that I, where we first introduced owner's equity, I told you, hey, if you shut the business down and you sold all the assets in the business, the owners wouldn't get to keep everything. They first would have to pay off all the creditors, so all the people they owe money to. Only what's left over is what they keep. And so owner's equity is that amount. It is the, it is the, it is the record of how much of those assets really belong to the owners. So how much of the business's wealth really belongs to the owners as opposed to the, uh, the debtors or the, pe the people who are owed money. They're called creditors. Okay, so where does owner's equity come from? Okay, well let's take a look. Owner's equity comes from two things. Number one, retained earnings, and number two, capital contributions. First off, let's look at capital contributions. Capital contributions are money that comes into a business when someone buys newly issued, remember it's important, newly issued ownership rights or stock in a business. For example, let's say you own a car uh, washing business and your cousin comes up to you and says, hey look, I'll give you $1,000 if you give me 5% ownership of your car washing business. If you take that $1,000 and give him 5%, that is capital contributions. So that's, uh, that would be one of the accounts that goes, that is part of the owner's equity dollar value, okay? Um, next, let's look at this term right here, retained earnings. What is retained earnings? Well, they are the profits that the owners of the business decide to leave in the business at the end of the year. Um, so in your business, if you have a profit of $100,000 and you decide you're only gonna take $50,000 out of the business and go spend that money and have fun with it, but you're going to leave fifty thousand dollars of those profits in the business. So these assets, so those assets are going to stay in the business. Well, retained earnings is a record that shows why those assets stayed in the business. It's because you just left them there and it was profit from a previous accounting period. Okay, so so retained earnings comes from the remaining profit or Another term for profit is net income, okay? So retained earnings comes from net income minus dividends. And dividends are the portion of the profit that the owners took out and went and uh, used for their own personal needs and their own personal fund or whatever they used it for, okay? So net, net income minus the dividends is what goes into the retained earnings account at the end of the year. Okay, and how do we know how much income the business really has? Well, the way that you know is by you looking at the revenue and expense accounts. Revenue, 
But all the revenue accounts minus the expense accounts tells us how much the net income amount is. And the net income amount minus the dividends tells us how much retained earnings we have. And so all these accounts in the owner's equity section tell us, give us a final description or a final dollar amount that tells us how much of the assets um, are really belong to the owners and how much of the assets really belong to the creditors or the people that the business owes money to. Okay, so let's do an example so I can show you how the accounting, basic accounting equation works, you know, kind of in a real life type scenario. And remember that for every transaction, assets needs to, the dollar value of the assets needs to equal the liabilities plus the owner's equity. So let's do this. Okay, let's say that your business gets a phone bill and, from a, the phone company and it's for $140 and you decide you're gonna pay it right away using cash. First off, what would the journal entry be? Well, you would go to your cash account and you would do a credit on the right side showing that your cash is going down by $140. And what kind of account is cash? It is an asset type of account, okay? Then we're gonna to go to a utility expense account. It might be called phone expense or utilities, but it's a utilities expense account. And you're gonna do a debit showing that, because utilities expense, by the way, is an owner's equity type of account, okay? And to show that owner's equity is going down, you do a debit, which means it's an entry on the left side for $140. Okay, so remember this. You have an asset account going down by $140, and you have a owner's equity account going down by $140. So look at it, look at it in terms of the accounting equation. The assets go down by 140, which is on the left side of the equal sign in the accounting equation, and the owner's equity goes down by $140, which is on the right side of the equal sign, and the liabilities are not affected at all. This transaction you did did not affect any liability accounts, just one asset account and one owner's equity account. And so the equation is still in balance, and we are still zen with the world. Okay, so let's do another example real quick. Let's say that you buy $50 worth of inventory with cash. First off, what's the journal entry, okay? Well, first, you're gonna show that cash is going down by $50, and cash is an asset type of account, right? Then you're gonna show that inventory is going up by $50, so you do a, a debit on the left side. And what kind of account is inventory? Well, inventory is also an asset type of account. So let's look at the accounting equation. What happened? Well, we had, one asset that went down by $50, that was the cash, and we had one asset that went up by $50, that was the inventory, okay? So um, there was a zero net effect to the assets, zero net effect to liabilities, and zero net effect to owner's equity. So the, account, uh, the accounting equation is still in balance. Okay, one thing to remember also is that the debits have to equal the credits for all your transactions. So debits have to equal credits, and the, the uh, basic accounting equation needs to stay in balance. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you really like my videos and you're watching this on YouTube, please give me a thumbs up or think about leaving a comment or even becoming a subscriber. Also, if you want to check out more free uh, accounting videos from me, go to freeaccountingschool.com.